hello ladies and gentlemen welcome back to exotic astrology and today we will address the most or one of the most important questions asked in the astrological community is whether to see the transits from the ascendant the sun or the moon all right so there's a lot of confusion and there's a lot of chaos and there's a lot of misunderstandings which goes on regarding this topic especially so today we will try to see how all the three are important actually all right and we will try to see that why these confusions are there the confusion is there because we do not understand what these different points represent and why traditionally in the vedic context in india they used to say that you should see the transits from the moon but nowadays why it is more important to see it from the ascendant all right and even i would say from the sun also and nowadays many astrologers also take it from venus saturn rahu ketu all right from all the planets in fact so let us try to analyze this in short and yes if you are new then please like comment share and subscribe and watch my other videos and if you want a consultation from me regarding any personal area of your life or the horoscope then you could also go down to the description section where you will find the link to my website for booking a reading with me and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him irrespective of the transits so now what is the difference between the sun the moon and the ascendant so when we understand the difference between these three then we will realize that we can see transits from all of these three okay prominent especially so what is sun sun represents the kingdom as i say yes kingdom means the things that i own i may not be a billionaire i may not be a alexander the great uh but i may have small things you know i may like for example i have this candle you know i can throw it i can keep it i can light it <laughs> or i can burn it or i can donate it or i can do whatever i want with this so this candle is a part of my kingdom all right so sun will show the resources that the society gives us to take care of all right that's what the sun is and what is the moon basically moon represents who we feel inside what what do we feel about that kingdom all right so essentially it means now suppose i have this candle and then i light it right but somehow i don't like this candle supposedly maybe <laughs> then i will feel as if this candle is of no good use to me or suppose i like this candle so much i love it i'm like wow what a candle this is perfect for a Uh, lighting in the morning or uh, in the brahma murat i mean before sunrise yes so there you go that's what the moon represents and moon because is the sun gives light yes and moon reflects the light so it's like saying what society has given us we reflect it back all right so moon represents the things that uh, we feel comfortable with in this world the things that we want to be and to behave as you know that's what the moon is and what is the lagna the lagna the word used is dhi and as shrimad bhagavatam says you know satyam param dhimahi so lagna refers to intelligence yes and that is the point in the universe in the cosmos in the astrological arena which defines everybody as an individual okay so lagna refers to who we are inside as a person what what our intelligence gravitates to naturally intelligence doesn't mean knowing algebra or physics or mathematics or chemistry that that is a way of uh, diver of, of uh, utilizing your uh, intelligence in a particular domain it can be anything but intelligence also means the way you look at life all right what do you want to do what what are your inclinations where do you want to exert yourself all right these are the things which are uh, related to the ascendant and the sun moon and the ascendant they are always in harmony yes because ultimately who we are is going to be dependent on what we have in this world and what we want to become and how do we feel like the things which we have yes do we like the things or we don't like yes so this is always very important 
and in the ancient days in india they used to say that check the transits from the moon yes that is why it was known as rashi now rashi literally means a zodiac sign but when in india they even now when they say you know what is your rashi they it means they are asking what is your moon sign all right and the nakshatra where moon is is known as your nakshatra all right so whenever uh, in the scriptures it is said that lord krishna was born in rohini nakshatra so it means his moon was in rohini nakshatra all right now i'm not talking of ascendant or sun or other planets they may be there or they may not be that's not the point here but the point is his moon was in rohini so the nakshatra refers to the nakshatra where exclusively moon is sitting so there is no doubt on that so what used to happen that moon also represents the society as i said all right so in the ancient days what used to happen is people would live more in terms with the society yes more in accordance with what the society wants them to be and that is why in ancient times they used to say that check the transits from the moon because the moons the transits from the moon will give an indication to how the society will affect you in a way that you will feel good or bad about certain things all right that is how that is why that used to work very well those days but nowadays what is happening is people are becoming more and more disconnected from the society people are becoming more and more individualistic yes they are becoming more self centered they are becoming more self obsessed they are becoming more concerned about themselves so that is why what what happens now the lagna the ascendant which because ascendant is the point which uniquely puts us away from everybody all right so that is why nowadays the things which we want to do as an individual are having uh, they 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 are more important for us rather than thinking what society wants us to do or who society wants us to become now i am not saying this is good or the earlier one was bad or the earlier one was better now now it's not good i am not saying that what i am saying is this is how the principles will modify yes they will be modified and we have to know how to interpret them accordingly all right and therefore you will see in any transit you you will see this yourself okay you just take the ascendant and you see the planets when they are transiting okay so for example uh if you have planets like mercury which transits your lagna the 5th house the 7th house or the 11th house these four houses you will always meet friends and meet new people you will see this always it's not 100 100% guaranteed but at least in my experience i have seen with so many people and also with myself so similarly if venus transits the first the fifth the seventh and the eleventh you will see that you somehow uh, come in contact with the opposite sex or uh, ladies especially yes and ladies can also come in contact with other other ladies or with their sister these kind of things can happen and if jupiter transits the lagna or the 5th or 7th or 9th or 11th then you can see that uh you become more attracted towards spirituality or you know joining some spiritual organization well at the end of the day what the dashas will tell that will happen but this is a flavor which i am giving you okay because now suppose earlier times what used to happen is so suppose moon and mercury are uh suppose somebody's moon as mercury is now in cancer so suppose imagine you know 1000 years back somebody had moon in cancer so now what would happen suppose mercury would go over cancer as is now then what would happen is the society would kind of pressurize or push him uh, or her towards you know going and meeting relatives friends or you know other contacts but nowadays the lagna which is he himself so how now mercury transits the ascendant the lagna then he himself will feel that oh i should go and contact friends you know these kind of things and the transit from the sun is also important the transit from the sun will give you an indication of how that could affect your resources okay so for example i have seen in uh, my limited experience that 
when planets like mercury venus will transit from the sun okay your sun sign from uh, the sun sign or the fifth the seventh or the eleventh i have seen then there will be friends or you know the members of the opposite sex who will come and put a light on your resources that will happen because sun represents the resources okay so you may feel that now this person may help me in increasing my resources or that person may come and take away my resources yes the things that we own or we control in this world that could happen so therefore it is important to see the transits from all the three okay so there is no one word answer to this which is most important well if you want an answer the answer is it depends on what you want what you value in life yes so for you if what you want in life is all in all yes you are ready to compromise anything you are ready to do whatever it needs without listening to anybody then the ascendant is the most important point for you if you are only focused on resources then the sun is more important and if you are very much concerned about your family what other people say or what other people will feel they will feel good if i do this they will feel bad or what will uh, people think of me what i should be doing yes should i do this should i not do that then the transits have to be seen from the moon all right so that is my short conclusion i would say about these three and always check it from all the three okay so i hope anybody who is watching this video will not be uh, confused that how to see this tran these transits okay so there you go and uh, i forgot to say many people have been asking me that when i will make the videos for transit of jupiter into sagittarius and transit of saturn into capricorn well i'll be making them very soon and also i'll make the video on rahu's transit into ardhara nakshatra okay which will happen very soon after mid of september i guess so, all right so thank you very much and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is always asking you should we see transits from the ascendant sun sign or moon sign okay and if you want a consultation from me regarding transits or any dashas or any particular area that you are concerned with then you could always go down to the description section where you will find the link to my website and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him irrespective of the transits thank you very much